must be a mistake. <laughs> you must be a mistake. <laughs> like, such but some of us have mistakes. <laughs> and we know. <laughs> we so, know this one. What about us? But we are good people as well. <laughs> Hey, to bro. show you what's possible. Bro, you must for come you. here more often. I'm seeing things I've never seen. But, it, but that's, but that's part of that the. That man is fixing signs that are already fixed. Emona, <laughs> <laughs> a person who never wants to be on camera because his wife thinks he's somewhere else. Now all of a sudden, <laughs> Tony Robbins is saying, <laughs> "Let's go." Hello, <laughs> Tony. Can you please ask him to come here and explain these things? We have to get Tony on the next episode. Actually, out. like, if Tony Robbins sees this, like, thanks, dog. Like, please, like, <laughs> like, like pull up on me. But what does a parent who can't afford to do that type of thing do? Hi, uh, they beat their children. Oh, oh what's it? Oh, yeah. oh, what's oh, what's oh, it? Oh, Hold on, oh, hold on, yeah. hold on. Can I answer the question? Yes. I assume. Yes. Obviously, Pops is saying money and all that stuff. So it's just like a packet of sweet and but, like but it. reward. Welcome to another episode, yeah, Popcorn and Cheese Reviews episode. <sighs> Can I do the predictions? I'm going to predict a few guests that are going to come to the show. Guests like Mandela, Cyril Ramaphosa, Tabo Mbeki, Walter Sisulu, Steve Biko, Sia Kolesi, Lionel Messi. Not forgetting Zwaking Bully. Like Russia. Russia Mashal. Lamazo. I am a dream. Pansy Blind. Look. That's my. Rolling. What's it like? <laughs> Yeah! I'm a woods guy! Wait, wait, I can't hear the beat now. Huh? Yeah, you're yeah. gonna have to mind this. Yes, it's yeah. electric. It shouldn't be this Can loud. Nobody hear the beat. No, no, no. no so I'm saying. Still play, right? <laughs> so don't, what I'm saying is don't play them, mime it. Just do this. Okay. Yeah. What is it? Me a fireman, me a fire voice. My voice gets bent. It's not really good. Oh. oh. You need to hear the beat first before. Okay. Oh, oh that's the other option? Yeah, we really that is the one. People out there, if you want your life to change, it's never too late to accept Woods as your throat, cough, and fever savior. Leona testimony read the speech. You like a lot. And ready? Yeah, I'm gonna be mic'd, dog. No sound. Yeah, sure. Alright. So. Nahana, technology in Krula Robot. Dog. Hi. Study kid. Sorry. Did you, it was also taste like beef stew. No, it tastes like shaga. It tastes like shaga. Just that. Yeah, we need him closer. Can he be there? No, no, no. Keep, keep rolling. No, keep rolling. Keep rolling. In the water. The shaga. But I can see him if he's coming from this angle. <laughs> huh? <laughs> no, I can see this guy. He's yeah. supposed to be coming from. Did he come from behind you? Yeah. Okay. It tastes like shaga. Get it, get it, get it, get it. I want to get mad. Then this one, the shine by my guy. I'm shame bam. Run, run, run. I'm going to Let me show you a video uh, that someone uploaded. I just need the Wi-Fi. Oh. Mm. 
Hey, it's me. Uh, it's fine. Just tell her. Just tell her. Yeah. Sorry, bro. So, as dear TV delicious, Maxwell forgot to sing dance with my father. I mean, that's not him, no. Is that your father? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like him. <laughs> you guys did the opposite of what we were supposed to. We were supposed to keep it short. Let's it's keep like, it short now. Let's do it's it. It's no longer. It's not longer. Yes. <laughs> Just to steal the change. Do you want to know what a red flag is? is under you. But precious, we need to be honest with one another. For years and years we've been loving one another. It should look like a ring. Alright, we wanna cut? Shall I be a bell? Yeah, you guys are in English, are the The idea is to know what you are doing, know the product you're selling. Who to sell it to? The idea is to know your why. Why? What? Z. W X Y. L B T Q. Why is that? Okay. Why is that? Part of the community. Yeah. Come on. 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 Come we motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, now my LOL. So we both got gang and we blessed as hell. See, I love a story. Pets and I'm a guest, I nice and moy. You and I'm a bundles, not of joy. Said it's some pop pops and robot boys. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese. Call you all boy like friends like these. Popcorn and cheese. Popcorn and cheese, popcorn and cheese, call a boy boy like friends like these. <laughs> <laughs> Brad, doesn't that guy look like if if Bunte left pretty ugly? Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Which one is this Not one? so pretty. <laughs> Just ugly. <laughs> 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 Why are you guys laughing? I thought that was obvious. Ah. Why did you explain? Why did he explain the joke? Not so pretty. No, he didn't explain. He, he was explain. adding to he it. Added yeah. to but it. you said if Bonte left because she's pretty, so pretty would not be pretty anymore. But I thought we already His there. Is Which one is this one? I know that. But if you see how pretty ugly looks now, because he's with Bonte. Yeah. But if she had to divorce him, that's he would how look he like would that. Look. Like, <laughs> this is the mbash version. How what hell? I, the thing is, I got that the first time you said it. So when he explained it, I was just like, I thought that was what we were No, really he like. wasn't. Then you laughed harder. Oh, then I was just like. because Buntle means pretty. <laughs> this is Queen Zorn. <laughs> the queen of sins. But also, she's just a pretty girl. If the pretty person left, then there's He'd no. Just be ugly. Just be so ugly. when he explained it, I was like, and then you laughed harder. I was like. No, I think yeah. it's the way I say things, just funny. Oh. Ay -chi. Yeah. This is Chimeric the Paperic. Yeah. Ay -chi, ay -chi. <laughs> cheese boys, cheese gang, and the cheese girl. Yeah? yeah. What? Uh, <laughs> Do you see, having Pearl here is a problem, bruh. I'm not even getting my intros <laughs> right. Munyagamutusi. <laughs> <laughs> Chilas. Munyagamutusi. <laughs> Chilas. <laughs> oh no, I'm making my face You want your mutusi? Yay. Uh, Thank you to our clapper pod rocking his government t-shirt. Ralemocha, Mr. Uh, All right. Uh, pops. What? Does my intro suck? Uh, I didn't know. Who this one? It was good. Oh. I'm going to I'm going to You stole my dog. Me hunt. I'm going How do you go a free shirt, guys? <laughs> <laughs> three things are because supposed to be. Because it's free dome in this country. 
Which one is this one? Hot. Hey. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey. 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 I'm sorry. Hey. 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 And the, the cheese, cheese gang. gang. Welcome to a super special episode of Popcorn and Cheese. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a super, 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 my man. Who this one? Bar leather. Hey. Skin to skin. Cat woman. Aye. Rare. Aye. Rocking. Come on. The boots no, of Vuzu. I understand. Before we feature more the boots of Vuzu, I want to introduce the people behind the camera, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Lebua Homu and due to the heat, his rocking shoes, Zenang Limbobo. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your digital hands together. Make some noise. Give it up for our petty man with a purpose. The one and only, Tsitsi Chumeric, the Papere. <laughs> Are you teasing me now? Ah, ah, ah. Because we opened the whole letter, you know? The whole letter, you know? The pinna, the water, lost and found. I literally didn't want you to hear that. Yeah, I didn't know what it was. Right. It was between A, B, and C. So delete The people yourself. on stage, front of camera. Anyone? <laughs> anyone get that? Which one is this one? It's between A, B, and C. So delete yourself. <laughs> Uh, it's between uh, Omo and Skip, so vanish. <laughs> <laughs> no, guys. <God. laughs> it's between A, B, C, uh, D. So evacuate. No. <laughs> Mamela. Mamela, we're back. I'm here. Ladies and gentlemen, rocking a blue highlighter two piece. Ladies and gentlemen, a man who does dancing through poetry using his body. It gives us great honor and pleasure to introduce the co-pilot here at Popcorn and Cheese, weighing in at 46 kilograms and reaching heights of 196 centimeters and wearing a size 14 shoe Nike. Yes, it takes two of Zizi's shoes to make one of his. Please put your digital hands together, make some noise. Which one is this Give one? it up for the man who wears the underpen Nepandi, the one and only Robot the Boy. Yes. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, the captain, the leader of all leaderships, the one and only who you hear every day and see his face on every TV show, all-round entertainer, stand-up comedian, but he's sitting down so that you can understand him, leader and president of the Yellow Bones, rocking his shirt that is matching his carpet version. Jordans, no, that's a carpet material. Uh, Mamela, Chic, Vaseline, Domestos, the cleanest brand in the cut. Mbop Pops And of course, ladies and gentlemen, I am the president of the Yellow Pones. But the queen is here. The queen of the Yellow Pones. The first Yellow Pone ever. Ever. After Vivian Machosi from Generations. <laughs> She's ladies. not yellow, she was colored. I know, but she was the fel- first one okay, that fine, we were fine, like, wow, like frizzy that. hair. Like, she was the first guest to yeah. interrupt her own intro. <laughs> <laughs> By the way. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the best centerfold to ever rock the U magazine and drum magazine. Right. Many have hung her poster in their rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What is wrong with you guys? Why are you looking uh, at me? Okay, okay. I didn't do that. I oh, never yeah. room. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> was a communal space. Ladies and gentlemen, international superstar, yep. super, yep. local superstar, yep. actor, producer, mm-hmm. TV presenter, model, model mm. superstar, Mamela, host, mm. alcohol brand owner, yep. mother, yeah. next door neighbor, musician, yeah. motor vehicle operator, musician, musician mm. whose songs are made of. How many of you have a song after yourselves? Ah, she's Zulu and Cheese. Yo, actually, actually. Okay, okay. No, but it's about his own thing. Oh, oh, I see. Ladies and gentlemen. High five. Most people come into this industry and are hot for a season. Mm. She's been hot since the first day we saw her. Yeah. Till today, Mm -hmm. at the tender age of 49. Yeah. She's still killing it. Yep. Please put your digital hands together. Which one is this one? Make some noise. Yeah. Give it up for the incredible, 
the multi-talented, the gorgeous, the one and only. Pearl Tusi! Finally, yo. Finally. But what do you mean, finally? Bro, there's been <laughs> talks about getting you here from many people whose names I won't mention. Why don't you mention them? Because I want to take a break. See, see. <laughs> 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 I've been waiting for this moment. Yo. This is a, this is a dream for yes, some people to have yes, you here. Yeah. Imagine actually. if I had underdressed and I didn't wear my Vuzu shoes. I underdressed. <laughs> yeah, Ivan. Well, I'm that's, sorry, that's but you're from Limpopo, so we understand. It's yeah, it's actually, a actually I'm overdressed because I'm wearing. When did shoes. they tell you I was coming? Because I was hijacked. This, they told me yesterday, so we had to do the prep this morning. You should have hear, heard his voice note. Limpopo, yeah. okay, gents, come Play on, right guys. Now. All right, gents. <laughs> Pel Pel Tusi. <laughs> yeah, no, biggest fan. I've actually, I told you this once upon a time. Did you? Yeah, I said, yo, you must come on the show because yes. I've got a brother. I didn't know that there was someone who was like... Yeah, it's no, 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 no. He's active, mm. not proper. Oh, hectic. I'm yeah. so glad I'm here. Yeah, I'm, so I'm nice glad you're you. here. Thank you so much. You look very beautiful, by Thank the way. Thank you so much. Yes, yes, bro. Like, honestly, I know we're guarding your Vuzu Karl Lagerfeld boots, but... You look amazing. What she saw was very full leather. You're giving cat Animal woman rides. vibes. Thank mm. you. Serving I, gorge. No, who was I talking to? I think it was you. One of you stressed me and said we don't repeat our sneakers. What? what, what. I said. <coughs> I said. Oh my life. gosh! I just need to outshine these sneakers, and mm. I should be fine. So. I so what? Gogama puts on a shine shine. Yes. You actually, I think the first female guest to come at heels. Is it? I'm representing at least. Yeah, I look, and, and I look fly. You guys look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you guys Thank look you. amazing. Shout out. Thank the you. local brands clean. Get your clean match. I'm so scared to be mean to, to Mpo. Why? That's why I keep telling you guys jokes on the side. Like, <laughs> no, you must tell him. Yeah. No. He must meet his that. match. Because now I can't look at him because of it. Pearls. So Pearl said you don't repeat sneakers, <laughs> but you repeat your t-shirt. <laughs> Didn't say Where does she know the t-shirt from? I didn't see it. How do you know this t-shirt? I've only wanted one. It just looks like it knows the washing machine very well. The <laughs> 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 locker. <laughs> Fabric mileage. <laughs> it's in a venue show too. But it's a cool t-shirt. <laughs> it's a it's uh, it's been in the market. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, Pell, you came for me, Fandak. No, I just said I'm scared to say things to you in the first place because I know you're hectic. Okay. Yeah. Pearl, how, how have you been? <laughs> <laughs> Even that simple question is giving underlying. Um, I have been very well. Yeah. Um, actually, let me tell the truth. I've been like up and down yeah. in terms of like mentally, you know, mm -hmm. like I think COVID and being a mom and being single and having all this pressure on me has really weighed very hard on me. Um, and so, you know, in the last week, and I know you guys are going to make fun of it. So just let me just give it to you so that you can have a good time. Uh, uh, pops. Oh, sorry. No, no. <laughs> so I literally deleted all my social media. Did so you? like yesterday was Keenan's birthday. So when you kept on saying super, 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 I was like, mm, how oh, cool is no, it that I'm here? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, but it's like even that and Costa and Ricky, like I, I think... Definitely people, but definitely us as artists, we really underestimate how losing those people has affected us and has yeah. made us look in the mirror and how, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. But for me, like I knew Costa, but like obviously I'd known Keenan much longer. So Keenan's passing kind of like hit me in like a very different way, like how it happened. Everything mm. was like really, really intense. So there's that. And then there's the children and I'm basically raising my girls like on my own with like help from like actually Tando's stepmother and from some friends and family. But like generally, like it's just me facing this thing, you know? And yeah. it's really, really hard. So I have been up and down, definitely. And last week in Galile, I'm just like, you know what? I'm deleting all my social media. <clears throat> yeah. I deleted mo like all the games even on my phone because I was just wasting a lot of time and then feeling like I'm not productive and whatever. So I have really masterclass, you know that masterclass app? Yeah, yeah. It's actually very powerful. I started watching Richard Branson. Then I saw Tony Robbins was doing like a free class that was like, because I before I invest, because these seminar things are quite expensive. Yeah. So I was like, okay, let me watch Tony Robbins. And I actually invited Nadia to my house the other day and we mm -hmm. watched it together. We were taking notes and we were doing the exercises together. It was really That's cool. Dope. So yeah. I have two more days to go of that. But like, I already feel like miles ahead of what I yeah. was. Like, I just feel positive. I'm back at the gym, all of it. Mm -hmm. 
So that's what I was going to ask you. That's dope. In terms of, in terms of other things besides um, watching seminars and that, what else are you doing to sort of cope mm. with, with the added pressure and the added stress that you're feeling? So you mentioned gym. Yeah, working out, having like, you know. A routine, like a healthy routine. Keeping busy, like if you're dealing with anything, you know, something like depression, if you mm-hmm. anything close to it, like moving around and not staying put. Sometimes you need to be still, but yeah. like not drowning in your sorrows still. Mm. Like, you know yes. what I mean? Just kind of if you're, if you're meditating or whatever. And I think one of the most important things is to make sure you're in a positive environment around positive people. Do you know what I mean? <clears throat> so I'm here today. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so, yeah. Dope. Because I wanted to ask, how do you alleviate some of the pressure? Because you probably have so much pressure that's coming still after all the, you know, the the immediate issues that you have, but there's still the pressure of being paratusi. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I guess I don't. I don't always like. Ooh. How do I be pull to see? Do you know what I mean? Mm. But for me, really, the people I hang out with and the conversations I have with them, like I was with Kai and Olisa last week, Kai and Olisa Tishana, I'm sure you guys know them, I don't know if yeah, the yeah. public will know them. Uh-huh. But like, you need to be around people who are achieving, who are doing great things, speak about your dreams to the right people, um, open up about your struggles to the right people, things that you're dealing with. But I think more than anything, like, it's just to try and ground myself, like, you at my house the other day, so like, he saw like the other things that oh. I... <laughs> guys, let her finish the story. Uh, guys, huh? <laughs> so he, you, hey, you think you have friends? <laughs> <laughs> After you've confessed things to them, next thing they are, yes, go back, Anton. Go back. I'm gonna hide your charger. <laughs> like we watched a movie, we oh! PlayStation. <laughs> which one? Is this one? On which platform? <laughs> Where did we, what, what did we watch? Did we, <laughs> was it Netflix? Was it for you to say Netflix, I was to say. <laughs> and then I played mu- my music for him and he thought it was dope, I hope. At least he was That's why I said musician in the intro. Did he dance? So I was coming with the music, guys. He had really good advice to give me about when I put it out, like in terms of what to do. And he's the king of TikTok. So I said, okay, I'll, do, I'll take that advice. I've already told my producers. Sure. Oh. Like, Let her finish the story. Being around positive people, guys. Come. <laughs> J-U-D-A-S I yes? feel like I said too much Okay um, Hanging around Like I Oh I have I do things that interest me So the pressure of I guess being pulled to see For some people is Driving a cool car Like looking like You have money I yeah. guess yeah. For me The things that I, I decided to kind of Exclude myself From that group Like if I do have Cool things It's things that I really You know that I really Wanted that thing I yeah. didn't do it Just so that I could post yeah. it Like I don't do a lot of like Oh let me unbox My Louis Vuitton yeah. Because I'm buying Bees and dogs And plants And seeds And you vegetables have bees? I have bees You, you saw bees them right? Too, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> bees Like I'm into those Type of things Like self-improvement things Or going on hikes Or mm-hmm. those are the type of things I invest my money and time in So And my children Like my children's school fees Literally I could have bought I don't know how many Student apartments by now So it's kind of like I, I understand the sacrifices I'm making Maybe to not even measure up To the pull to see dream People have out there yes. But yes. I have what I know Is yeah. Is Ustem being there Hola, Pearl to see Aish. Can I can Stem I just add to that because I think also and you'll 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 comment on this, you've actually built a brand that's also mm. real to some extent, so you're not pressured to else to actually live up to a fake standard uh-huh. because we know you for being real in a sense. So yes. the Pearl to see thing, yes, yes. it's almost ex- an expectation that the people have. But if you know that everything you've actually put out was never to front, but it's actually who you are. So mm, mm. does building your brand in that sense help you also, like in terms of growth? I, you know, I did a, let me flex. I did a talk at um, late last year for, um, I think it was a NetBank sponsored thing, but it's like basically like a marketing conference with like the biggest ad agency people there yeah. whatever. And so I didn't know that I was speaking to seriously important. I thought it was just people who wanted to know about marketing. Then I got there and I was like, oh, you mean like it's the head of, <clears throat> excuse me, like the heads of Joe Public, like real serious uh-huh. marketing people are going to yeah. be there. So they asked me to speak. So what I spoke about when I realized I can't try and outsmart these people, they have degrees, they have mm. studied, they live marketing every day yes. for other brands, not just maybe themselves. But Everyone is a brand and everyone represents themselves in some way. That's yeah. how you market yourself is your behavior at work or your behavior at mm. home, etc. Mm. And I guess for us, and I guess specifically for me, 
my whole thing was always about authenticity and that was the final thing. And I know it's a word that's thrown out a lot, but I gave like real examples. Mm -hmm. If something is authentic, it can never be replaced or duplicated or, you know what I mean? It's authentic, it's real, Mm -hmm. it is what it is. Whether or not you like it, it's there, it's in front of you and you're going to pay attention to it because it interests you because it seems very, very real. So I think, I think it ha- it's helped me with sustainability in the industry. Yeah. I think to sustain, it really, you really need to have authenticity somewhere. You can have gimmicks, you can have all these things that come and go, but if even those little things that you pick up and let go in, in, your, in your career include authenticity and include you being like your original self. And obviously as people, we evolve. So Pearl has changed from, you know, the one who was swearing at people on Twitter, like, I don't know how many years ago. So, yeah. No, so... <clears throat> I want to touch on like the double standards South Africans have, right? Yeah. Right. We live yeah, in a it's very a bit personal, no? A very <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, my nigga said yeah. That sounded personal, no, man. Yeah, yeah, no. no, 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 because because that's that's how we operate, right? And yeah. we we live in such a double standard mm-hmm. country, right? And and back to the reason, and there could be a link here with with you getting rid of your social media and stuff like that. Um. We, as time goes by, we are less affected by what people say about us on social media, right? You learn to block out trolls and this and that and care less. But we say we care less, but it still kind of affects us, right? Yeah. So with you, I know there was an era where, like you mentioned about swearing on people and Twitter and whatnot, but I remember there was a time you defended yourself on social media, right? There was a time you did the summers and you you rocked the <laughs> the bob cut, which you know your true fans <laughs> thought was beautiful. Yeah, yeah, had an age, Asian vibes to it. Mm. But Twitter went after you, right? And then you did something that all of us wished we could do. You went into everyone's profile that was dissing you, and you're like, I'm angry. Everybody. No, you, you can't look like this. <laughs> right? And again, double standards. I feel like if it was me, if it was a comedian who then went and trolled the trolls, people would have found it funny and we would have moved on. But people still came after you for trolling the trolls. Mm. I think it's also me being a woman. Yes. And which adds to that standard, or now mm. it's a triple standard. I don't know, but mm. like it's. Ah, well, now there's there's more. There's so being a woman, woman. There's being yellow bone. No, there's being there's a lot of standards. There's being pretty. There's being all these things that are against you, I guess. And that should prove to everybody that sometimes God is going to give you things that are going to make people dislike you, but you shouldn't question what God has given you. Mm. And that's like, for me, taken. It's taken me a while to figure that out. Like, I'm hated for reasons I cannot change. And things you can't control. That's like being mad Mm -hmm. at a guy for having a, you know what I mean? Like, you can't be (laughs) mad. (laughs) For having a nail. For having a nail. Wait. Wait. For having a long pinky nail. Is that even a possibility? You know, can I just say something? These guys never speak. These guys never speak. <laughs> this guy today what? just said, hey, what? Yeah. <laughs> so, and, and he yeah. touched a lot of us in this day. All the vendor and people that, kept quiet. Yeah. Yes. And, uh, wow. And not in terms of like the value of, of, you know, like I don't see the value because I've always had it, I guess. But yeah. I don't see the value of being yellow. I don't like really see the value of being pretty as much as someone who feels like or has, con- or has been convinced or is convinced that they are not beautiful or, mm. or, or they are not outgoing or whatever it is. Yo, man, I'm just taking the gifts that God has given me and I'm doing my utmost best with it. If it offends you, like there's there's so little I can do about that. If society has given me opportunities, which I'm sure, God is really here saying, you guys. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. Doing too much. But, you know, but to your point of like, right now I've deleted my social media, honestly, because... I was doing too much, like in terms of like the scrolling and just not being able yes. to have self-control yes, 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 and yes. also consuming so much of in, so much information I don't need. And That's so, so now useless, I'm, yeah. I'm being very intentional about the information I'm consuming while I detox, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah. So I think we don't become just, there, there is that thing of you're less affected, mm. but I think it's mostly you're less reactive. Mm. Yes. But the I think you're still is. quite affected. I think you're silently, quietly, quietly affected. Because I realize that sometimes people will say things that I, I'm just like, oh. and then I start I'm actually having the conversation in my head. Mm. And the first mistake wasn't, the first mistake was that person's parents 
giving birth to them. But the second mistake... Hectic. Like, I mean, why why are you literally going to take your energy and time and just be mean to someone? Yeah, exactly. For no reason. Right? You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, yeah. you must be a mistake. So the second thing is... <laughs> Because no, you, no human who's like, guys, it's not funny. Well, yeah, that's, no, you're that's talking. my next response. Yeah. I don't know what boy for tea. I if I show you, okay, yeah, yeah, you must be a mistake. Eh? <laughs> you must be a mistake. Like, such but some of us so. have mistakes, <laughs> and we know. <laughs> Which one so, is this one? What about us? <laughs> but we are good people as well. <laughs> You know, it's not about your past. It's about your future. You understand? Okay, thank you, it's thank 10% you. You, you being a mistake and 90% you choosing to make your life intentional. Come on. Like, you're making me feel bad. <laughs> you called us mistakes. <laughs> you said you know you're a mistake. I didn't call I know you a mistake. a mistake. Have you been mean to me? Never. So then how I can you... I loved you, you know. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is this one? What I want to say, Carl. It's Carl. <laughs> what I want to say is... Ne- the one thing I noticed, because I did a, a lot of research on this, inter- and, and this is recent stuff, so this is what I remember. One thing that stuck out about you personally is that there's not a lot of authenticity in entertainment. Yeah. Right? Because of, and and I guess people throw the word around, but it's because people have had to buckle into the image that everybody likes, right? And it's really difficult, very, very difficult to be the one person that I, I want to do this. I wanna do, and that's why when you listen to a lot of interviews, it's literally the same story. That's why I would never listen to celebrity interviews. Same guy. Everyone has, I grew up poor. And then, you know, kahasla, kahasla. Look at me now. Follow me, kids. And hey, then, don't just empty. I'm sitting like right <laughs> <now. laughs> <laughs> Which one of you saw? And, and uh, even the goal. first way, <laughs> but... <laughs> I think he's being serious. He wasn't. No, I'm serious. very serious right now. So the one thing that stood out, even the way you answered the first question, you're like, I'm good. And then you're like, you know what? Let me be honest. And that's the kind of check that a lot of, that's missing in entertainment for in me. And, I, and, yeah. and, I, and thank you for, for showcasing it. And I know it's, it's a brave thing and it's very difficult. And it's come at a cost. Yeah, it's come right? at a huge you, cost. You being authentic has come at a cost. Right? Oh, at a huge cost. And I, I want to add to what you're saying. In a world where everyone feels like they have to fit a certain mold and you are just walking with the mold God has given you or, you know, you're not nitpicking certain things. That's what a presenter does when they're presenting. You choose aspects of yourselves to show, right? But in moments like this or in real conversations, like, be yourself. So because I'm like that, I've actually often felt extremely lonely of course. In, in my battles whether it be social media or real life, mm. um, in my experience of this industry, in everything that I do, like I, I feel sometimes extremely lonely because there's a v- there's very few people who are going to stand up for the right thing and say what they mean, mm. you know, and and be accepted and liked for it. People don't like hearing the truth a lot of the time, mm. you know. They're entertained by it, but mm. it doesn't necessarily mean they like it. Mm. So it's 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 really really interesting, like how I've thank God I have a, an incredible family, incredible kids, incredible friends, and 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 just like even the staff who work with me at home and the people that I work with my team. Like I'm really blessed to be surrounded by people who understand me because I'm definitely one of those people you like hate until you actually hang out with me you know or you don't like or you're not feeling or she's too much or whatever mm. we got invited to watch movies Maybe you know you be. have a kid and I've said <laughs> I've asked no 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 pop-ups are <laughs> no have I not even been like oh we must do play dates or whatever yes and it's happening this year it's so this year's resolution. I said, pull up, let's hang. He pulled up. Now you want to be mad and emotional. He also let you down because you could have brought you for the play date same way he uh, made me. He doesn't have party. to bring me. I can come by myself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we do this one. I have a car. <laughs> I, I like movies too. <laughs> do you, know, do you know what's the craziest thing? Can we actually shoot the movie night at my house with him? Yes. He can come and then we can hang out. Dope. But that, ask me. That's all scary. <laughs> okay, yeah, please come to my me. house. Sure. I need to. Oh, well, ah! Yeah. <laughs> and and I can have proof that you were there, and no one can doubt us. Okay? All right, no problem. Adi, Adi, shout yeah, out to Zimbils. You're no, saying it's brother. all good. Do you know what the crazy thing for me is regarding this conversation? Um, the fact that Pearl spoke about the mole that God has given her, and certain yeah. things that people hate on her that she can't control. Dog, you hardworking, my G, and you talented. 
hard work beats talent when talent isn't good enough. Mm. Mm-hmm. You've got both. For people to hate on the fact that you're doing most TV shows, most TV, it's like, in your eyes, it's motivational. It's supposed to inspire people that are doing squat with their time because we don't have more hours in a day than anybody else. We all have 24 hours. Yeah. For me, I see that and I go, yo, Pops is on his third bag in one day. He's on his fifth meeting. He's on, you know what I'm saying? And that's how we move, you know? And it's like, for you to try and inspire people and for them to see that as hate and then start hating on the fact that open up the industry, why is this guy? And it's Bro, are they putting you, know? you through that? Yes. Do you know, do you know how, pe- and, the, and that's what I wanted to I talk to you about, right? That one, exactly. Yeah. That's, so that's yeah. what I wanted to talk to you about. Is like, you know, when you're winning, you think people would genuinely be happy for you, right? Mm. Like, especially when it's like milestone stuff, yeah. right? People support you through your underdog, underdog phase, phase until you get to a certain point. And then after that, bruh, every second day, there's always a, a Twitter poll about who's not the funniest people. I'll see my name pop up, whatever. You know, when you're just like, mm. when you're like, why am I being tagged? Because I'm not someone mm. people talk about regularly. Mm. But you'll see tags about like on these not funny, what, 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 what. And a lot of the times also like your peers, they'll say comments about like, oh, you, you know, why must you host everything? Why must you what, what? Oh, that last show you did. Was like when you guys were mad at me for doing the roast. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, but we spoke a lot during that time. No, 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 not you. People, but I'm just no, saying. no, but I'm saying we spoke during that time because so many people were against. And you were like, bro, I don't understand what's going on. And Literally I, Keenan I, made me do that roast. I know. And it was intentional mm. for you to, for, for, for that to be like that. But then there was so much hate, especially within the, that, that circle, right? And I remember because we were thought I'd be hated by funny people. I love funny people. But but here's the thing, Paul. Like right, crazy. And and that's what I wanted to talk to you about is that waste. People loved you through your underdog phase. Now you're making international shows. You're getting your body ready. You're doing action stuff. You're but people are hating on you. Mm. How how does that feel when it's like? But guys, I'm doing everything to show you what's possible. You must come here more often. I'm seeing things I've never seen. But but that's. But that's part of that the... That man is fixing signs that are already fixed. Emona. <laughs> <laughs> a person who never wants to be on camera because his wife thinks he's somewhere else. Now, all of a sudden. <laughs> making sure that the pee on popcorn is... <laughs> but you know, but that's... that For me, it speaks on the double standards. Oh, sorry. So, so, that, so that's... Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying is like, how... Because that's one thing entertainers never speak about. How do you cope with that? Like, you're winning, you're doing well. God is literally giving you all the things you've ever prayed for, sacrificed for. God, more people are hating on you, dog. I think you'll understand when you have a child, you can't have the energy to cope with. Yeah, like when go. you've got a hungry mouth yeah. to feed. Like honestly, like you've got to, you've got to. I mean, you've got to find ways to cope with it. Doesn't maybe necessarily mean you've dealt with it. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. So I feel like for me, like I talk about it. I mean, there's. <sighs> There's a situation I found myself in where I was pit against someone and people didn't know what was going on in the background, right? But like, everything's cool now. But, and then it was, it, it's so difficult to meet someone who, you know, maybe has done something before you and you see them as some sort of like, yeah, I want to do something like that person. And then it becomes the same person who like makes you feel small, you know, when mm. you enter a space or you think you're cool or whatever. And then you realize actually like... Wow, you know, that can hurt really bad and it can set you back. But I guess for me, because I had a child, like I just, I didn't have the, I, I, I didn't have the privilege to go and hide somewhere and be, feel sorry for myself. I didn't have that privilege. And also I worked in the modeling industry, like rejection and being told your bum is too big back then. Um, your bum is too big, whatever. Back then, like your bum could be too I see big. What you did then, okay. back then. Back then. <laughs> 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 and now, um, and now, <laughs> no bum is too big. You oh, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Now it's the other way around. Now the bums are too small. So I feel like it's it's you. You've got to just. Tony Robbins says uh-huh. that you, I love that guy. I love that guy. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, your state is such an important part of who you are. So a lot yeah. of people, when they're trying to get out of a bad place, they think of like how they must do what they're going to do, mm. why they're going to do what they're going to do, mm. and like who they're going to become once they've done these things, you know. Mm. So it's strategy, 
um, it's strategy, story, state. And he's like, no, you're supposed to fix your state, figure out your story and then work on your strategy, strategy. right? Mm. So if you, if you, and then he gives you like ways to correct, now it's like I'm a poster girl for like Tony Robbins, oh my gosh, but it's <laughs> not a bad thing. But when you fix your state and it gives you tools on how to fix your state. So for me, I was very good back then. I was also like a serious church girl and I had just like really good vibes. Like I had, I had a beautiful person who was totally obsessed with me to come back home to. So I really kind of just shifted my focus on the right things. And I think on and off, I've made the mistake of focusing on some of the negative stuff in the past. But like when a peer is, 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 and I think it was someone who said to me, no one, I always, okay, as a child, I always used to say, don't look down on someone unless you're helping them up, right? Oh, don't know. And I always just felt if this person is looking down on me and then helping me or contributing or at least just not minding their own business, what does it say about them? You may be here in terms of whatever illusion you've created for the world and the industry and for the people around you, yes. but within, where actually are you? Sure. So I saw that person was actually in the pits and they wanted to pull me down into that pit with them emotionally. Mm. Or, you know, or they could see I was rising too fast. So I knew I was doing something right. So I kind of had to change the story in my head, but I, I had to be in the right state to, to do that. And then I figured out a strategy of how to take over this, this country. It's like, it's like, it's like Eminem, Eminem used to battle cannabis. And then at some point, and Cannabis was one of the only people that used to, Cannabis was the only people that used to beat Eminem, right? It's just, I've never heard something Yo, this like reference that. is... No, 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 no. So, so at some point, Eminem stopped battling Cannabis because he was like, okay, I get it. You're a great battle rapper and I can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. But I'm, I made a, I've sold a hundred million. You know what I mean? Yeah. So sometimes people, without realizing, they drag you back down. Mm. Yeah. Right? Because cannabis was battle rap but, level. Yes. And he is mm. past mainstream. But we battle... Palyazine. No. Yeah. But is we're it... talking about... It's a fail. Yeah, my no, bad. Oh, you thought about Eminem cannabis. was battling cannabis addiction? Yeah. Yes! That's why I was like, what? So you thought there was Eminem at, at Sanka? <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys. My name is M. My name is M. In Newtown, Reggae Nights. Who's the real Slam Shady? Who's the real Slam Shady? Blah, blah. What did you say? Yes, you were saying barbaric. Wait, can I add, can I yeah. add one thing? Can I add yeah, one yeah, thing? Sure. I said to Nade the other day, I said, only someone who's never sold out is going to call you a sellout. Yes. Ooh. Dang. Right. So, yeah. Right. Like, you know, there's people who can't even sell a 50 ticket seat. They want to tell young comedians how to do comedy. It doesn't work. You understand? Like who? Ah, yeah. like who? You understand? <laughs> but that sounds personal. It's a new year. I'm a wholesome guy, you know? Um, but what, I'm, what, what, what I would say, like what I want to say about this is like, there's a lot of, like people don't know what they want from you, right? Because when you give it to them, there's this whole illusion of like, okay, cool. I'm the coolest because I'm trending on Twitter. I'm doing this and that. Then we're like, okay, sharp. We start bragging, right? Right now, people are bragging about Louis Vuitton, and then you brag about a book. You understand? I bought this book, and I bought, and this is what I've learned from this book. And then they'll ridicule you until the day the stuff in that book is useful. And then when it's useful, they're gonna say, "Ah, you're, you're acting too clever, or you're acting too this." There's no, bro. The coolest things in this country. We should be the the economy should trend when it goes down. Not a celebrity cheating on another celebrity. The economy, we need to treat the economy like a cheating celebrity couple. When it goes down, we must, it must trend, we must talk about these things. But what we do, we talk about every other thing else. We need to control what trends in this country. I'm not trying to be thinking, but it affects people's mentality, it affects people's mental health, and it kills people for real. I like what you said now about... Uh, about the stuff that we consume and then regurgitating it and then people acting differently. Where we focus on What you said now about Tony Robinson and you apologized. Uh, yo, Robinson Spices. <laughs> yeah. And you apologize for it. You're like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm quoting him too much, right? But that's the thing you, talk, you talked about earlier, why you're on a social media detox because of the things you're consuming. Mm. And what we don't realize is that a lot of us like having social media chats. Have you ever been sitting with people and you can hear someone quoting something from a, a popular TikTok video or a, mm, people mm. speak in Hello, you tweets? Don't know that and, thing. Mm. Right? <laughs> or someone will say something and make it seem like it's Shut theirs up, and you're yeah. like, no, I've seen this recently on my timeline. You know what I mean? 
But you were able to share that with us because that's what you consume. Mm. Mm. Hectic. So and that's what we're supposed to be. You yeah. bring the change that you want to see on the content that's, that's the coming out. That's the value in whatever that's... you're saying. Not to read Danko. Danko. Talk it Danko, yes. Oh my God. I was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was in... Um, no, no shade to this kid. No shade. I'm not shading you. I'm just... I'm just telling a story Schooling. that relates to this. Yeah, I yeah. thought you were pretty cool and fun and I'd love to party with you again, I'm sure. But first, the thing I thought of while you were speaking is like, I think a lot in like, I don't know, I don't say poetry, but like in... Um, Red on it. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess. But like, I was just thinking when 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 they used to speak to us, these these uh, people who come and speak at schools, like, yeah, open your books and close your legs, right? But like, and now I'm thinking also if you can if you consume if you consume if you read the right paper you go make the right paper type of oh, thing do you know what I mean nice like I think nice. that's what I got from what mm, you were saying <laughs> that's dope I forgot now what you said though I'm going to get back to it powerful. but you guys are laughing at open your books close your legs Gaten McKenzie said that to us when he came to our school at Mondio for the chats he told them, all the girls tell them the bank is closed <laughs> And it's, Dude, the truth, it's the bro. truth. It's the truth, bro. Oh, like, I'm sorry, laughing because you went to all boys' school. Yeah, participating in today's episode. Nigga, the mic now. Sorry, you were saying. Babe. Yes, 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 yes. I totally lost my train of thought. No, no, no. It's cool. This Titi does that to us. Uh, uh-uh. uh. So, <laughs> uh, that wasn't me. That was me. I wanted to respond, but I didn't want to cut him off. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. No. So look. Um, this this is what I'm saying, right? When it comes to when it comes to our entertainment industry and the information we consume. I remember, yes. I yeah, remember. So this kid at the Yes, yes right. Kid, this kid. kid this, I mean I'm saying kid because I, he's definitely younger than me, but I don't know how old he is. Um he keeps on saying this thing like just bleep me. I guess. But he's like, yeah, type type and they thought they were so cool, him and his friend, like, yeah, type and I was just like, what language are you speaking? You know? Type but it was also loud, so I couldn't hear them. But they said, yeah, type kind of means like, like in Jalo, you know, like, yeah, that thing or sure or whatever. Like you're just confirming what the like other person is saying. Then he said to me, how old are you? I was just like, I said, dog, like, I'm literally watching Richard Branson in a club. Like, I'm not old. I just think, like, I like English. Like, yes. <laughs> like I like yes. English. Yes. <laughs> like, I, you know, and I was just like, I'm. It's not about old. I'm just. This is what I'm into right now. So like talking like that is not like it's not even about my age. Like it's I just not. don't understand what the hell you're saying. And it's destructive. Yeah. It's destructive because I I watched a a video um of this guy who was who was showcasing how, and you know I get that you guys have a whole slang culture and all of the stuff. No cap, but cap. <laughs> if you say cap, we you're to basically twice. slicing a whole sentence saying. You're lying or don't lie about this. Mm. So you've shortened the thing, cap. And the reason why this guy made this particular video is because there was a girl that was being interviewed and she used the word like 27 times in the space of like six minutes. Like, like, like. So they, so they were they were showing how hard it is for the current generation to articulate themselves. That's why the emojis are such so important. Yes, emojis to them. hence generation. emojis. So people start using more emojis to communicate, yeah. right? So the more time you spend on your phone scrolling and whatnot, you'll see people type stuff at an emoji because it's hard for you to articulate what you're trying to say properly into words. Mm. And the case study they did, right, was they, they took um, letters that old soldiers used to write to their families back in World War I and II. And they'd show you these young men who didn't finish school, how they would literally articulate themselves a from letter. Bro, it sounded like Shakespeare wrote those letters, yeah. right? But that's how they used to speak. Because you used to paint But where's the argument of language with your evolving? Words. You know, Our language is not evolving right now. It's, it's like literally regressing, I guess. Yes. It's just using questions as greetings. We're using, hey, what are you saying? We're using those... I'm not saying anything. What are you saying? I know. Let's go see At what least that's saying. still a sentence that makes sense. That's a full chat. But, but what you're saying now with, the, with how those kids were communicating, right? You're, you're omitting so much and you're not communicating properly. I feel like maybe that's why maybe people feel misunderstood. Because you don't understand what your problem. Because you just say, it's bad, dog. <laughs> What's bad? No, but, <laughs> but also because you're not articulating your... I get what you're saying, right? <laughs> I can't help you if it's just bad. Because it's bad for me too. You understand? 
And you know, a lot of us like to pretend we know what's being said. Yes. You know, I only discovered what no cap means maybe two years later. In the beginning, I thought it meant no... Shooting. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not job. I'm not it's a job cap in <laughs> International. <laughs> like, that's... Because I was like, cap, because... Uh, no score. Like, what's he look? Cap is... Like, okay. Then I was like, maybe it must be like the bullet-related thing. That's what it means, that side, eh? International superstar. Exactly. And we'll never ask. We'll never be like, ah, man, Jonga, man. I have a teenager. I ask. She loves to say, ah, mom. And the bamboo is like, because it's even they're showing about bamboo. No, but when Sabah started trending, everybody was asking, what does SPWL stand for? Bro, you spoke about being a mom, right? And now you're a mom to a teenager. What is it like being a mom now? Compared to? Compared to when you started being a mom. So, when, you know, like you were a mom for a baby. You were trying to make it. Then you made it. Then you're a mom. I could scam her back then. <laughs> like I could. Facts. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I could scam her. Like I could be like, yeah, tomorrow we're going to Disney World. I never said that, but I'm just giving an yeah, example. Yeah. And tomorrow would come and for her, tomorrow could be next year. Do you know what I mean? Or whatever. So now it's like I have to have real conversations and, and reason with her. And so now it's, it's, it's more challenging in, like, in a psychological way. But obviously physically it's easier because, I mean, we could be having lunch in a mall. And if she wants to go somewhere, she can quickly go to that shop and come back. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Where in the past, I don't have to go and wipe her bum anymore in the bathroom. I can carry on enjoying my drink or whatever, you know. So it's like little things like that. But it's, it's, I definitely feel like... When I was younger, it would have been great to explain to someone why you have to go to work and they get it, right? Mm-hmm. And now it's difficult when, like, the other person is explaining to them, to you as a mother, like, where their headspace is at. And it's just like, I have bills, nigga. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, I can't think about this right now. But for them, like, the world they've created is their whole world. And I, I, and I always have to take myself back to when I was that age and how I saw things. Like, I always have to try and do that. Yeah, yeah. Um, which I find myself apologizing to her a lot because when I find a moment that um, is adjacent to what she's talking about, like, something that's definitely parallel to the experience she's having, I'll go back to her. So I'm one of those moms who's just always serving, I'm sorry I did this, 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 this. I'm accountable, but I also feel like I was triggered because one, two, three. So I name my emotions and I explain to her how I'm Feeling, oh, nice. you know yeah. so it's it's just it's a lot more it's a lot more work psychologically um possibly even financially because now she knows what she wants you know but it's in terms of being in the industry and dealing with that it's been really interesting for me i actually was debating if i should talk about this earlier but i find now especially because people know how old my kid is or that i've got a grown you know a teenager uh-huh. It's like in their head, they make up their my age in their minds and decide for me what I am allowed to do as a woman and what I'm not allowed. First of all, I'm a grown woman. I'm not a child who's just doing things, right? I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm in a powerful position when I make those choices. I have the power to stop certain situations from occurring, yes. right? Um, and maybe, and maybe I get the argument of maybe there are young girls who are gonna try and emulate that who are not in that position. But like I'm able to, like, that's like saying. I feel like I can go buy a yacht because Rihanna's a billionaire and she bought a yacht. Now I'm also buying a yacht. Or, you know what I mean? Or Rihanna wore that. Not everybody just wears what Rihanna. It's just I'm an easier target because I'm closer and you feel Double like you have access. That we're right. About. So um, I feel like my age and my motherhood is used a lot now. Maybe abuse is a big word, but if you can find a better one for it's me, please the help same me out. Group. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah like it's being, I, I'm, people are using my, first it was my, color of my skin or my looks or how many jobs I had, whatever. Now it's literally like people, that's when I realized people are really low. Like Mm -hmm. if you're going to use my age and motherhood to abuse me and try and control me, when I'm definitely minding my own business because I don't even know your name. Mm -hmm. So like, it's really interesting to me. And that at some point, did begin to affect me because I was like, oh, am I having a midlife crisis? Damn, I'm only 36. What's going on? Well, I'm not even 36 yet. But like, what's actually happening here? Then I realized there's nothing for them else to grab onto right yes. now. So this is going to be the easiest thing for them to use. And I've allowed that to stop me from making other decisions because I'm worried about other people's kids or I'm worried about, you know, how now it's going to affect my daughter. But when I talk to my daughter, she's like unaffected. Like the, the boobs thing. Mm-hmm. I sat down with um, some kids who are even younger than her and those like that generation is very different right yes. very different yes. I sat down and I was like so like 
because these are also white girls, by the way. And I was like chilling with them. We're in Cape Town. And I'm like, so did you guys see that? Like, did it actually affect you? They're like, yeah, we saw it, but like, whatever. And I was like, what do you mean? They were like, we thought it was so cool. Like a woman, like just like doing that. Like that was so cool because you owned your body and we're always talking about how to many. To them it was empowering. So they were actually like super empowered, a lot yeah. of them. But only someone, shame can only be taught. Like even for uh, like even for a murderer or a criminal, like shame is something you're taught to have about things like stealing or lying when you're young, you know? So like racism, shame is taught onto children. Like it's brought onto them. Mm. So, you know. You're, and you saw no? Yeah, you saw, no, even that's why sex is so difficult to talk about because it's made to be a very shameful topic. In our country, yes. In our country, like in, every, like basically in this whole continent, I mean, up north, if you even touch a man yeah. and you're not married, like you're going straight to jail. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard, but it's, it's always a rewarding experience. Can I ask so, you a, so you got, question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just want to wrap motherhood. Hold that question. Hold that thought. Okay. He's ADHD, dog. I know. Please remember. Write it down on your hand. Remember one word. That one, yeah, word, I, one word. One word. Hey. So you became a mom again. Yeah. Yo. And you weren't expecting to be a mom again. No, definitely not. How has motherhood second time around been? And how did that occur? You know, my biggest... I don't want to say regret, but like my biggest challenge in terms of raising Ogushe specifically is, and I guess for this period, I, both of them, but if we're talking about Ogushe specifically now, then let's go there. I really wish I was under less pressure to be doing everything on my own because it's really affected how I have been able to kind of connect with her because I'm too worried about how I'm paying her school fees. I'm too worried about all these other things. I'm, I'm so worried about, I'm doing a man and a woman's job and I can't be really either. I have like, it's, 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 it's crazy. So it, it, in the beginning, I feel like it was really difficult to really connect with her. So like, I really feel even for a lot of people who have, who have adopted or taken in or whatever other people's children, like there needs to be some sort of, maybe something I should do, but there needs to be some sort of, um, education that must be created around adoption, you know, because you only hear about it when you find therapy. stuff while you were, were you able to find stuff to read up on? Yeah, I read up on because it's like, it's like, and also this is a terrible example and I'm aware of that, but you know, like when they talk about like, when you adopt like, um, even like a puppy or whatever, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Some people want to get a puppy like a puppy because they're worried about the issues like an, 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 an older, maybe like animal that you might bring on, in. Yeah, yeah. In a similar way, but obviously this is a human, so it's a lot more complex. Yes. Um, it's, it's, you know, you realize that this is, this person is like a, a, a totally separate organism in the family. You know what I mean? And, in, a, in, in some sort of way, like the family has to make sure the antibodies accept this new thing yeah, because- Adjust to- Right, and adjust to this new situation, which Tando struggled with. I, Ogutla is an incredible kid. Like she didn't really struggle to find ways to love us, but she has her own struggles, things that she's brought from um, where she was living before, like things I'm obviously not going to mention, but um, it's been really, really difficult to, to adjust to that. Like I just thought- in the situation that created me becoming a mother again, I was the best person. I was in the best position to to offer support, right? But I didn't really feel like I was in the position to do it. So I just couldn't think that, okay, because if I say no, like no one else is going to do it. You know, no one else can do it either. I thought, oh, Tando's grown. She's about to move into the other bedroom. The, you know, her bedroom is now available and everything is there that Tanda was using, sorry, when she was younger. Ah, the school is down the street. Things are popping. I can pay. And I have a nanny. Like structurally, like I can accommodate this, right? And I can be a part of it. And I thought, oh, it's going to be a commitment. I have to read bedtime stories. Da, 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 da. But that's the thing about motherhood. You forget so much. No wonder you keep doing it again. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So... I had to kind of now not just use my own experiences when I'm raising Tando of like my past, but now with Ogushi, I have to try and remember like when I was, when Tando was this age, was she also doing this thing that irritates me so much? Do you know what I mean? And you have to adapt to whatever new ways there are now. It's so crazy. But 
Ogutle is is an absolute blessing in our family. Um, she's also made a lot of things easier. Like she's so sweet and loving, and mm. she's really working hard to like improve herself because I'm sure for her it's like she also feels different. Her environment changed so much so quickly, you know. So now, I really am glad that I'm getting the right education about what I've gotten myself into. And if people spoke about it more, I think a lot of mothers are probably feeling guilty, like in private out there, not talking about the yeah. fact that they're really struggling uh -huh. for something that they wanted maybe so bad, but it's really, really difficult. And it's, but it's, it's motherhood. Nothing is really easy about motherhood. It's just rewarding. Yeah, man. Like, sure. well, I know yeah. people probably don't say this to you, but on behalf of her, thank you. Thank you for stepping up and, and being that person. And and I know to you, you know, you're doing everything behind the scenes to make sure she has a better life. She's doing great. Thank and you. she's in the best possible situation she could have ever landed up in. And that's because of you, right? Thank you so much. We all have our internal struggles and battles. We all trying to fight to make sure our kids have the best possible future and everything. Bro, you stepped up. You're doing it second time around at the height of your superstardom while trying to fight weight loss and looking pretty <laughs> and maintaining who you are. It's not easy, bro. Yeah. I used to see your workout routines when you were doing that Thailand stuff. You you were working. Yeah. But to balance yeah. all yeah, yeah. To balance <laughs> to balance all of that. Travel the world, do what you do, and and step up and do that, man. Like on behalf of her, thank you so much, bro. Yeah. Thank you for being thank that you. person. Yeah, I know. I this is popcorn and cheesy, but Zizi. I love it. Zizi, you, you're the one word. Yeah, of course. Otherwise, it. I'm gonna go into level ah, three of motherhood. Excuse being me. a dog mom. Ah. Oh yeah. Dog no, mom. my. How how on? I guess hmm? maybe let's put it on a scale of one to ten. How hard? Sixty-two kilograms. How hard? How hard? How like how hard on? How hard are you on yourself? On a scale of like one to ten. I think 24. Oh, it's bad. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of the stuff that you're saying, it's always like you're accepting all this uh, accountability. Yeah. But not, and, and, and also another thing that I noticed, you don't talk about, you don't brag even a little bit of, like you were on Quantico, you can say that, but you're like, oh, I was on Quantico. No, because <laughs> over, the years, <laughs> over the years, people have made Pearl feel bad about saying regular stuff. Like, oh, when I was in what, what, why must you say when I was in New York? Yeah, but then, was but, there. And Pearl is such a mover that some of the stuff she done then are like, whatever, because she's doing more things now. Yeah. But, but when you're hard on yourself, when you're hard on yourself, you always need new things to move on to because you know that other stuff is going to be... Um, like I wanted to say the bad word, like pulled on, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, you know as soon as you and you work hard and you're hard on yourself, as soon as you work, you know that someone's gonna judge this thing, and as soon as they say something bad about this thing, I'm not gonna want it anymore. I'm gonna want something else. So, I, I like it. It that's how it feels. I don't know. Maybe I could be wrong. I could not be wrong. But I feel like you're very, very hard on yourself. And sometimes I just feel like you must just be kind to yourself and give yourself the credit. You are Peltusi. Like Hectic. you are. You know. Yo, thank you. Yeah. Um. It sometimes paralyzes me, like where I can't get out of bed for like three days straight, unless I need to like eat or go to the bathroom. But like it can be paralyzing. It's it's quite intense actually. I hope I don't like serve a tear moment. But it's it there's something about just the pressure, like the you I'm def I'm definitely old. The economy, everything that's happening around yeah, us. Yeah. Like it's so it's so much and it's there's so much information. Tony Robbins was saying <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Hello Tony. Can you please ask him to come here and explain these things? <laughs> We have to get Tony on the next we episode. Get, wow. Actually, like if Tony Robbins sees this, like thanks, dog. Like please, like like, like pull up on me. He's like like I, I'm down, dog. Serving like bars. I'm down to take, spread this message. But he was saying, I like this because I I smell a book coming from you. So. <laughs> nice. hectic. Um, but he said that we are as a as a race and especially for young people. They don't know any different as well, right? But they're literally drowning in information and like starving in terms of wisdom, yes. mm. right? Like, I Tony Robertson. Hey. <laughs> I don't want to. Robbins, guys. Oh, sorry. 
<laughs> Dog, that might not be spices, nigga. <laughs> Tony Robbins. Yeah, it's like literally starving of wisdom. So that's why no. I'm trying to teach my daughter right now against her will. Yeah. And I was comparing like how I'm treating her life now in terms of devices. Maybe I should tell the whole world this, but in terms of devices, like I'm getting myself educated on how to firewall. You know, like when your father put up a wall at the game yeah. to make sure you stay inside. Stop mm-hmm. nonsense. I'm doing that. With the, I'm learning how to do that in a digital world. Yes, you know and, it's, I mean? and it's important. Because my dad, like, I once nearly ran away from home because my dad literally, like, I thought he was going to kill me because we were playing on his grass. But that story of the grass, I think, was just a scam because he didn't want me playing with these little niggas and he didn't want these little niggas playing in the yard either. Mm-hmm. Like, he just didn't want anyone anyway near his children. Like, that mm-hmm. was his thing. And at the time, I just thought this guy, like, I'm going to struggle talking to people at all. Um, I'm going to struggle. Like, yeah. I'm going to struggle with so much. But like, honestly, my dad like saved me against yep. my own will, like saved me against yep. my own will. And sometimes for your children, you've got to do that. And it's so hard because these kids have so much information like about yes. how like it's affecting their like mental la la la. Mm-hmm. It's like, we, I get that. But as your parent, like I need to protect you. And I've been now recently like in situations where I've realized how important that is really. And so just to parents out there, there's there are apps that you can literally like yes, control monitor. what's happening and monitor. Not yes. just monitor, you can also literally like be the gatekeeper of what can happen in this iPad, computer, laptop, whatever. Yes. Like so that's possible. And I really think parents should go out there and get educated about that. So I I do that with 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 Imani, where I I monitor how much time she spends on particular apps. Mm. And then her devices will send me a message to go, it's been two hours. Can she carry on? doing this what or it's been an hour or whatever but most importantly i've had to set up that firewall that you speak about because i've noticed what the digital world does to me right di- right then i thought yeah. i can't punish this kid and then here i am right do you know what i mean like no so so we have to put up like parameters like like she's not allowed her devices during the week yeah do you know what i mean she has to she has to read during the week yeah. we have to do times tables every day yeah. she has to do her homework That's powerful. and then on friday she gets her her, her ipad and, and her phone back yeah. and, and, and she gets stuff. out of jail yeah she gets out of jail <laughs> on friday right but she works towards it mm. right and 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 the one thing that i've also started adapting which is really great is i reward good behavior like because yeah. i'm also trying to get my kid ready for like a working economy. Real life achievement. Also. Yeah, so so I pay for every book she reads. I pay three hundred bucks. You know what I mean. So if you, uh, how do you know she really read the book? Because I do a review, and oh. so so like she's done all the role dolls, and I've read all those books, so I'll know if she's tutorizing. So <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. But you That's reward those things, right? You know, if she does her times tables and she gets a particular score after that, I buy her Roblox for for Roblox. Robux for Roblox on the weekend, you okay. know. So, so it's it's certain things you have to sort of enforce. Otherwise, we we the type of parents. But what does a parent who can't afford to do that type of thing do? Hi, they beat their children. Ah, oh, oh, what's it? Oh, what's it? Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, yeah. hold on. Can I answer your question? Yes. I assume. Yes. Obviously, pops is saying money and all that stuff. So just like a packet of sweet and maybe but, like give but it reward. Yes, yes we, we, we need to. Some reward. children just want affection. Yes, as that's what I'm saying. Even that yeah. any type just of like reward, <laughs> right? Any any type of reward, Titi. It can be we're in a position to do monetary reward. Yeah. But also acknowledging um, your kids' achievements, right? Mm. I've I've been championing because I saw your money go from really low marks to really starting to pick up and, and getting good marks because she's applying herself and whatnot. Just those words of encouragement. Yes. Celebrating. Like when she brings back a test that has 74 on it. Bruh, I'll roll on the floor. I'll jump. I'll tell random people while we're driving mm-hmm. back home. I'll open the window and say, hey, listen. Hey, sorry, yeah. man. My daughter got 74 for her test. Yeah, bro. This fly you is know? punishing me. I'm but, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, and you know what came with you? It's the first time you ever fly. <laughs> On the studio. show. <laughs> and it's coming to you, pal. You know, it's never passed here. You know those people who are always like, I wish I could be a fly in the wall. And on the wall. There they are. We tell extra things about this day, but all together, no, the little salt honey. Yo, tell if I do, I can't go in Okay. Yo, you go. Oh, there was a fly even when I did my G-Hack tank. It's the same fly. Who's this fly? <laughs> I think this is the podcast <laughs> network spy camera. Oh, my goodness. Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do we have a doom chill? No. Okay. okay, that okay. was terrible. <laughs> I can already hear the owl oh, woman. Bit. Let's send it back to Glare. I have to kill this fight. I can't. That's how real Pearl is, guys. As for the fact, too, Mitch said, don't go. Glindy. <laughs> so, okay. so when are you kill flies with a fatuk? No, I have that tennis looking thing that has Zulu electricity. And yellow. <laughs> so yeah, you just remember the Bro, yellow. Remember but you the, know, remember you the know, Zulu part. On the on the rewards thing, you know, my grandfather no, was one of the strictest human being ever. Close to saying he was a bad person. No, but we loved him. But if it's your bad person, it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> It's your bad person. What are you going to say? He feeds you. Yeah, it's yours. This man, bro, used to, you know, when you walk into the house and you see somebody getting a hiding on the corner and you just walk out and carry on doing whatever you do it like that. But this guy, anything that he could celebrate about you, you'll celebrate. Mm. And you'll celebrate in front of other people. One day I said one English word. He told everybody, this is the smartest kid here. This man said hello. You understand? And like, how did that make you feel? Bro, I felt like I, I, I'm not going to end up in Limpopo. Change your life. And look where in you are In my head, today. I was like, this situation, I'm not saying that Limpopo, at the, the situation, mm-hmm. I was like, this is not my situation. I have bigger dreams to go somewhere. And, and that's, that's what yeah, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what that's we need to do for our kids, right? Yeah. We need to, as, as parents who grew up, like you say, we all have this story. So you were speaking from experience. Adi, they beat them because yeah. he knows. <laughs> Cause, cause, yeah, because like I have the same boundaries. Like Pearl, have you ever seen somebody without boundaries just live their timeline? Mm. It's terrible to watch. You know, you like That's why you can go back and say my father saved me. Yeah. Cuz you'll see people you, you grew up with who had who more things than you. Yeah. Someone who had a car fresh out of people school. People who were smarter so, than me. I'm just like you were smart. Yes. Like, what happened, dog? Like you were yep. so smart. You no boundaries. E- EMS, but the economy is hitting you. How? Hey, <laughs> well, talking about economy, because you know we're running out of time. I want to talk to you about uh, uh, the landscape of entertainment in this country, because mm. you've had the privilege of going to do some really amazing stuff yeah. overseas. You've managed to work with the best of the best. You managed. Can't can't. Why are we lagging to a certain extent in our country in terms of production quality? And I, and I'll tell you why I say that, say that. Right, there are two shows that I watched. That made me realize, I ah, man, we can here. Queen Sono, you know when you can see the money has been put in front of the camera. I saw Queen Sono, I was like, oh, so when we get real budgets, we can actually make dope stuff, mm. right? Mm. And then the second time I show, saw it again, well, I've seen it a couple of times, but the second time I really, where it hit me like, it hit me with Queen Sono was Shaka, right? Because I'm like, okay, so we can produce right. yeah. this level of work. So... My question really is like, what's lacking for us to get there? And why aren't we getting there? Because we've got the talent from crew to on screen. For the same reason, we're also seeing so many incredible things happen. I guess now with social media, it's even easier. But Mm. for the same, you know, like in a country like ours, where corruption is just rife or in any third world country, right? Mm. Or, you know, and in between. But there's so much op- there's so much opportunity because there is so little regulation, yeah. and we're still figuring out what our rules are going to be in so many different aspects of of running this country or in an industry. For the same reason, so our our strength, in my opinion, is also our weakness. You know, the yeah. fact that you know there's something called SAG, SAG AFTRA in the states they, they they the unions came together and I'm part of that union there and I'm also part of SAG here in South Africa we don't empower the unions so they cannot empower us so if we don't empower regulating this industry in terms of pay in terms of treatment in terms of everything royalties. that happens in it royalties all those things unless but there's always someone hungrier than you who needs to feed their child or whatever and that why that's why like for me even when even when i saw like like even when the fergusons went back to generations it's like for me it took the whole fight like back like 10 steps they had every right to they did nothing wrong it was legal for also for her maybe it's a show that she was a part of when it started and and you know whatever the reasons why i mean the greatest of respect and adoration for her and everything she's gone through and also achieved, you know, in terms of the show she's made. But 
I think for me, like they saw a system that exists that is going to empower them if they just cross over into a different collection, if they ca carry a different collection basket for the money and decide who gets paid how. Right. And it's one of the reasons also also a lot of the streamers have come here and have the quality of how they work has reduced so much because, you know, it's they figured started. out ah, it's these people, this is actually they willing to cope with just this. And these shows that did it so well. It, we, all our productions were so I don't want to lie. From the I got, streamers. I, and then it went. I got the I love how we're saying the streamers, but I, I love how like. For me, it's just it's it's just so saddening. But bec until you see how apartheid forced us, mm -hmm. to f and I mean, there were always those few who you know did what they needed to do. Maybe they also needed to protect their families, whatever. Until we all, as artists, at least at least the artists who can say, okay, I can survive without working there maybe in that specific place mm -hmm. not maybe just working because the thing is in the states like i haven't actually worked in the states for a while even though i was there last year because there was a strike the entire year yeah, yeah. and no one if you're part of the union no one is going to work mm -hmm. like no one if the writers are striking the actors are putting their tools down mm -hmm. the, no, the, the whole thing. it's the whole industry yeah, shuts down all our shows we were waiting for they weren't there bro top shows you're like what i always go to dj where's this show he's like no there's a strike bro Mm. And then you're like, ah, even these guys. But they are not. It's like, it doesn't matter. It's a collective and they're all standing together. Yeah, because we, we all, we, until we have that, mm. at least the artists who are of like proper value, like let's say, ish, let me not mention names, but if we all chose, chose like one broadcasting company, we said nobody's working there. Mm -hmm. regardless of but we would need to sign up to the union be empowered by the union people will start receiving information about how the industry because uh, things are changing and improving for us we don't even know because we're not educating ourselves and we're not finding places to get the right information of how is the industry changing how maybe the royalty thing has changed but because we don't know we're not fighting for it we're not getting the right information mm -hmm. so for me that is one of the major reasons uh, our industry is not improving because uh, which is probably why I also hardly work here in, in South Africa as well because people know that I one I know too much to a mm -hmm. certain extent and you're vocal and yeah. I'm vocal but at the same time, like, I really believe in local productions. Like, I sacrificed not just for my children, but I saw what was possible. And then I came back to this industry thinking, oh, you know, when you've achieved something, people are going to take you seriously when you say something. And I was like, guys, this is what's happening. This is what's possible. This is what we can do. But everybody's just worried about today. Like, we're not like, like the Chinese. Like, we're not worried about the future. We're not worried about what we can change. So what Apartheid did was we were all in the same boat. So we all had to sink this boat so we could swim to where we actually want to be or whatever oh, the analogy works, right? But now everyone is like, Paul's doing well now. He's not even on camera, but... Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, it's an example. Which one hurts more? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that it's the truth. <laughs> then she said he. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, are you a she? <laughs> <laughs> So his name is Titi. Which one is this one? But how does that happen? No, you didn't get the she. No, I didn't. LG. No, you know what? Uh, 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 that's why I was like, oh, is it a she? I'm happy yeah, to correct yeah, yeah. myself. I know I got it, but I'm No, no, no. It's, it's his name instead it's of It's he, he, him, the man himself. Okay, the Uthiti. ghost man. Those are your My pronouns. Bad. Yeah. Uthiti, lapa, you know. I get But if you are willing to fight for his rights and vice versa. So if you're willing to actually suffer for mm. him to make, so that, because the thing is, if you let you so, you mm. understand? Yes. So everyone is going to be in that same position. Everyone's going to have a winter, a summer, a spring and an autumn in their life. Ne? When you are in your summer and spring, it's, or even your fall, like ugh, autumn, you... International. <laughs> stop it. You, you definitely... It's going to be hard for you to be like, ah, this bag, ain't I got. Because so way, now Uzo, would you tell them our royalties, well, call what generations, what 20 years back? Like, oh my God, boring. So, until we decide to be, for not just unionized, but unified in how we want, the, in where we want this industry to go as artists of all kinds, of all, even a cameraman is an artist. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everyone is, who's creating a part of this is an artist. So until we decide actually we're going to stand together, there is absolutely nothing that is going to change. Nothing. Inflation is crazy right now. How, how, 
do you think people who are working at soapies and things like that are getting paid that much more, that much better? They'll no. get a new person who's going to take the salary the experienced artist was taking 20 years ago, 10 years ago, now, because they can. Mm -hmm. There's no standard. Mm. And so we have to all work on our own standards. And that is sometimes what can also break you as an artist is when you decide you have a standard and no one is willing to meet it because... Mm, because it's just you instead because of it's everybody's just you. standards yeah. being met. Yo. But, okay, you know... That made me sad a bit. Hey, dog. But it's powerful because we need to hear these conversations so that we, we, we make a decision and we act. But you know what I don't like about like people that are celebrities, you know, not you, Pell, you know. <laughs> I love everything about you. Uh, it's people who who pretend like there's not they're not on their first timeline on this earth. You know? Like you're busy throwing around advice, like like you're not also living your first life. Hey, if you want to do better in life, you must do this. It's not it doesn't work for you. You know, like I grew up in a different situation to I can take it, but I can take certain Aspects, aspects of of your life and implement it into mine, but there's so many failed people who tried exactly the same as another person. They don't get, they don't get to tell their story, and that's the saddest part about this because we're going from apartheid to corrupted now. Talking so about that, and, and this is and this is what I love about about you particularly is how vocal you are, right? Because I've seen you attack people that not people not. Some of people have to call me to be like, yeah, hey, news off. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm saying, right? You have been vocal in attacking people that some of us wouldn't even dream of mm. approaching or challenging. Like who? Right? And it's we're stepping we're stepping into an era now where we have to make a decision. It's it's voting season again. Right? I wanna know how sabi nipel utembein. What makes you go? Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Guys. Like in Tembunkulunkul. And like it is scary. Like sometimes I'd be like, this is what I want to say. Then I'm like, you? But then this I'm like, is my fuck, man. Let's try it. Hello. You know? And <laughs> what is the what is the point of of having this? Huge, like our phones now have become but the those megaphones in the past. Yes, you know what I mean. Yes, if you don't use your voice, then what the hell have you been given it for? But Pearl, others of us who are looking at you are going, "How Pearl? Aren't you afraid of your life?" Number one. Then there's entertainers going, "How Pearl? Aren't you worried about opportunities and being denied? Mm. Aren't you worried about bags being taken away from but you?" It's her same because those people God. also are shareholders yeah. in all these companies. Dave, Dave Chappelle put it I, so beautifully. I, here we go. Dave Chappelle's a comedian, guys. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. That's why they're like... I, I, okay, so Dave Chappelle put it beautifully. And I know not everyone is a fan of Dave Chappelle, and I can respect that. Everybody here is a fan. Otherwise, they wouldn't work here. Mm. Hectic. <laughs> <laughs> um, if there were sneaker deals mm -hmm. during the uprisings and the revolutions, right, mm. um, in, in America. MLK, yeah. But anyway, imagine, okay... If there was a sneaker deal for Nelson Mandela, mm. there would have never been a long walk to freedom. Mm -hmm. He'd mm -hmm. still be walking. Because he would have been too scared to lose his sneaker deal yeah. instead of fight for oh. the right thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? Okay. So your sneaker deals are actually like balls and chains. Like it's the new cuffing of it's people these yeah. days. So it's like, it's... it's, it's <laughs> but certain sneakers... By the way, I didn't pay for these shoes either. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. But shine yeah. bright like a diamond. Yeah. <laughs> um, so 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 yeah, and and um, oh, man. No sneaker deal. But deal. it was a sneaker deal yeah. thing. But for me, it's like if if we're not willing to, see, there's no fight worth fighting if no one has to sacrifice for it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Every fight. So it, it like there needs to be sacrifice in order. Like that's why in wars people die. There has to be a, some sort of sacrifice for us to get to what point, to the point. That's why Zulu said, hey, let's let the link most one with you. I'm making a very silly joke. Yeah. But yeah. The, yeah. The, yeah. The, yeah. the situation is just that we really just have to decide to be unified and we can figure things out and change things. Are you, are you in Tando speak? Speaking about voting and who you want to vote for. And oh, is she old enough to she's vote? She's old enough to vote now. No. no. She's Not, just turned 16. Yeah, but that's that's the legal that's age. 18 is when you 18. start voting. No, 16 you can register. Pops. 16 is learners. <laughs> Yes. We'll, we'll, we'll cut this part 17, out. you can actually get Pops, your learners. We'll cut this part out. Don't worry. Yeah, please, let's cut this part out. 
<laughs> Third to fourth February. <laughs> All 18 year olds, please register to vote. Do the right uh, must thing. Must be 18. So I haven't had a conversation with Tanda about voting, actually. Okay, no, no, makes sense. But okay, conversation with you, right? But I don't need to. She's already in tune and like, what, what, yeah, yeah. She likes to get information and she likes to come and like beat her chest with me. She like comes and challenges me with information. That's and I like so to beautiful. encourage that, yeah. That's Were you yeah. like that as a kid? Yeah, but like not like that. Like I was actually saying to her the other day, I was like, yo, if my dad saw you speaking to me like this, I don't know actually what my dad would say. <laughs> like, actually. Would he be so, more disappointed in her or you? Definitely. He'd blame me. He loved oh, her so he'd much. He'd just look at you like this. Like, how are you how are you basing your vote this year? I mean, I'm not saying who you voted I'm, for. I'm, I'm thinking yeah. about it. I'm going to have to, uh, let me be honest, I'm going to have to do my research mm. on who's saying what. But I was listening to Ukosi FM this morning hey. and and they were talking about politics and the lady was like, we have to ask this, in Zulu obviously, but we have to ask these people, okay, and we hear your the, promises. In the, in the how equation. are you going, planning to achieve this thing? The actually? How, so practical. instead of the promises that, 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 that our political parties make, I actually think there should be a, some sort of like a business plan type thing. Like what is actually your plan? This is what I said the other mm. day. Because... Everybody, can, I can go now and say, hey, guys, me, I'm going to make sure everybody has a job. I'm going to do this and this and this. I'm going to make sure in entertainment this will change. And I can even say how, but not actually give you a proper plan and yeah. say, this is how we plan to do this with the budgets that are available. This is what we plan to commit to, whatever. So I'm going to have to do my research. But for me, like, I am thinking, since I can't figure out who to vote for, in terms, like I honestly can't, like everyone is just, it's just a, it's just a, a poop show. It's a bunch of... But it's <laughs> losers, a bunch of losers. A bunch of... Losing money, losing, <laughs> but like just a losing. So, <laughs> losing an argument. So I, I believe in diversifying parliament. It's also yes. more fun to watch. Parliament TV is fine. Eh? Have you watched it Parliament is. TV? Yeah. So it's, it's nice when there's lots of different people because then you hear all the different conversations. Yeah. No, man. But in all honesty, Pearl, like, you know, thank you for, for, for sitting with us and yeah. opening up your mind and your heart, right? Mm. True. Thank you. Um, I think... I think the reason why we have this podcast, like our 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 whole ethos is we motivate, motivate and, and we laugh as well. well. Mm. And we've done a bit oh, of Oh, really? Yes. Oh. No, Sinangoma, you're not the only one, brother. Come on. No, I know this, but I didn't we think it was like… We motivate and we laugh like, as well. Like, Stay like, on brand, brand, never hard to sell. Ching. Got real chats, number L O L. So we both got gang and we blessed his hair. We trying to see fun. That's us, bro. So 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 thank you for that. And you know, like… There's, forget all the noise on social media, whatever. Like we really have, you know, our following is the cheese gang. And there's cheese gang out there who, who watch you, who have watched you. Some of, your, some of them have only jumped onto your work and, and, and your accolades. Now, some like us have been with you since the days you presented uh, an award uh, alongside, I can't remember who, um, you know. There was an old clip of you that surfaced presenting an award. Bruh, you looked 16. Yeah, you so didn't good. clearly didn't watch the clip. I didn't. Oh, okay. No, I did, but it was a long time ago. It was me being on TV for the very first TV. time. Yes. Uh, maybe it was actually the second time because it was a prelude thing, but it was me like being on national TV. And unless this has changed, but back then I was the youngest person to ever be like in the top three of the Miss S18 pageant. I'd literally just That's turned 15. Was, yeah. yeah. 15. Yeah. I was younger than my daughter is today. That thing is 20 years ago. Hell, dollar gold, I'm fine. Like, that's why it upsets me. Like, what guys, year was this? Uh, 2003. 2003. Yeah. yeah. And Before you know, what? the grading on the TV wasn't so uh, back in the social With Somla Tandala asking, imagine With Somla, Somla standing, Tandala. Somla Tandala standing right next to you on some, oh like, when I guess, so what you gonna do, when And then, <laughs> oh, well, you know, you, you know what's crazy about yeah. that moment is, that plane sounds like it's going down. Oh, this is country. You're going to just post it anyway. Okay. No, besides that, the mics are, that we have are beyond outside interference, beyond the eye studios. In Centurion, where studios are supposed to be. 
hectic. No, they're not supposed to be here. Wow, robot. It's so amazing that you wait, said that wait. through these mics at these studios because here at Beyond the Eye Studios, we sit comfortably like the people in the airline that drove past, but you didn't hear it because of the sound quality. Talking about seating comfortably. I will laugh at you guys we if you hear the sound. 2050 <laughs> event, event supplies. Oh, furniture. wow. 10 to 50 event supply furniture. We provide leather, we provide suede. We provide seats where kings and queens sit. <laughs> Sono, over to you. <laughs> Before we go to Sono. We provide. Roses. <laughs> roses are red, roses mm -hmm. are blue. Some are black, like black rose. Black rose jean, imonati, <laughs> in one. Imonati, got tonic, imonati, got the ice. Black rose. Petals sold separately. Pectic. Back to you. Back thank to you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Powerful, powerful. I, yeah. At first I was judging, then you pulled the black rose. I said, oh, yeah, I know. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> carry on, on. Carry yes, on. Yes, 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 you were saying. So, uh, when I was answering that question, I remember it's, it was something to do with the youth of South Africa. Like, what would you, what would you wish for? Yeah. yeah, yeah. If you had one wish, yeah. what would you wish for? And I remember he, I asked me the question, and I started answering because you know you, he just goes like this. You still have to formulate the answer. There's, you know, there's no like chit chat. Mm. So he gives me, and I studied it a bit. And I remember thinking, ah, oh, I started, I'm screwed. Then I remember just seeing clouds. <laughs> like, like I couldn't, the, the only thing I remember is when, thank you, Pearl. I had to go and put the tape. To, what the hell did I say? <laughs> <laughs> they had recorded it, right? My dad had a VHS of it. So I used to, I remember at some point, and you must celebrate, I used to celebrate myself as a young girl. And I wish oh. I still did that as much as I, I, I did it back then. Like, I remember sometimes before school, I used to watch it every day, almost before school, to be like, to did this really you. happen? Yeah. Yeah. Hectic. Yeah. And then, and then I used to, and then I used to leave. But I used to watch that part the most because I was, I was one of those girls who just loved God, like loved Jesus, like don't touch me, don't kiss me, don't play with me, don't do nothing. Like I'm not interested in your drugs and your parties, all of that. I was that girl. Jesus. So, yeah. So for me, it was like a moment where literally God took the wheel. But what I apparently said, what I did say was I would wish for an AIDS-free generation who are able to achieve whatever they want to achieve in life. Because, and what's crazy about that answer is I didn't know at the time that my parents were HIV positive. I had no clue, like absolutely no clue until many years. And I mean, I found out maybe easily, my mother passed away 2004, but I think I only found out my mom was HIV positive, like maybe 2000 and like maybe eight, right? Mm. So it's really crazy that that went full circle for me in that particular way. That's so so that's, that was my answer, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna, you, you're a human. And that's that's all I'm gonna say. I love that you're human. Yo, bro. Yeah, you're human. Umut. That's dope. Thank you. That's I'm so gonna beautiful. take even longer now because I saw your next guest walking. <laughs> I'm not stopping. Beautiful I'm conversations with a beautiful <laughs> lady who has a beautiful mind and a beautiful heart. Pearl. Thank you so much for this. This bro. is really fun. Ah. Ah, today. Yeah. 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 On the inside. <laughs> is there anything you want to say to the cheese gang out there that are watching, particularly young girls or just the young youngins who are? Oh, you see, I'm in the swag, youngins, youngins, youngsters. Trust who who are watching you, who find themselves, and and I like the fact that you are honest at the top of this conversation about what you're going through. Is there anything if you could if you could say anything that you that you wanted to say to all the young people who not look up to you from an image point of view, but want to do what you do and and be who you are and go through the same things that you've gone through. What, what words of advice would you have for them? I mean, I've already spoken about the whole state story, whatever, rewind to that. Yeah. That normally would be what I'd say specifically relating to, you know, being in a dark time in your life, maybe. Um, but Richard Branson was saying that <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to mention him earlier. I forgot what I actually wanted to say in relation to with the conversation at the time, yeah. but you really have to dream big. Mm. whatever dream I've achieved, I haven't, I'm not even, that's why the depression thing is also, I'm not even close to what I actually want nah, or what I think I actually want to do. Yep. So I've had to realign my dreams, not to what I want to achieve specifically, but what I want to do.
do with that achievement. So always kind of like try and think of like, this was the original thing I was passionate about as a child. I don't need to manufacture passion or motivation or excitement about this particular thing. Um, so if I can focus on how I can improve that world that I was focused on back then and how entertainment can assist me in making sure that happens, like, obviously I love what I do as well, and I'd love to be a greater achiever at it, but dream really big. And the story I'm going to share is not my own, although I have those, but this was a really cool story. So Richard Branson now had just finished building the the music thing there, and he had been doing, um, I think trains as well. And now he was moving into um, airspace, like yeah. airplanes and yes, Virgin, yes, yes. Virgin Atlantic. And he couldn't borrow, he wanted to revolutionize what was happening in terms of uh, airplane entertainment, right? So the backseat thing, apparently Virgin Airlines was the very first airline to have those seat backs with entertainment on them. Screens. With the screens. The screens, yeah, I didn't know that. I, I thought it was an old ass thing that yeah. everybody had been doing. No, he was just like, he, he knew, he understood entertainment and he just thought people could have more fun in airplanes. Like, mm -hmm. how can he do that? And British Airways was punishing him and he ended up suing them and winning 610, I think, thousand pounds pounds back in that day. But he said that, you know, he had now one or one to 10 planes. He made a deal with Boeing because Boeing and British Airways had this monopoly happening in terms of airspace, specifically in Britain. Mm -hmm. And then um, he then made a deal with them because they also wanted to start a thing where like they could have more than one person to service. Right. Mm -hmm. So they gave him one plane and then at some point they gave him 10 and his promise was he's going to do this and this and this and this. Then he went to the banks and thought, okay, I want to put these TVs on the back of every seat. And the bank wouldn't lend him, I think it was $10 million to put these things. They wouldn't give him the money. Then one day he's lying down and he's wondering like, how can I achieve this? And then he decided, actually, he went back to them. Please, can I borrow $4 billion to build, I don't know how many planes it was. They borrowed him that money. So sometimes people are willing to, and now we have Virgin Atlantic, if I'm not finishing the story nicely, but they wouldn't lend him 10 million, but they were happy to lend him a couple of billion to build the airplanes. So what does that say? Like there are people out there who believe in bigger dreams. So sometimes maybe all you're asking for is 3,000 3, rand for Imalia School Fees or Imalia Regista or whatever. Mm. You might have like a bigger dream. Like what's your, what is it that you're going to study? What are you going to do with that? So think bigger, dream bigger and mm. find people who are going to believe in those things. Just like, you know, I'm not even using myself as an example. I'm not tooting my own horn here. I'm showing you like a living, breathing legend in terms of business who's done incredible different things. So sometimes if they're not going to give you money to pay school fees make them fund your entire business and that means you have to have a powerful business plan or a powerful idea or a powerful passion about what you're doing and at some point it'll work out just believe in yourself Aich. that's powerful Aich. powerful words from a powerful lady ladies and gentlemen we are sitting with the one and only Peltusi who's been on our screen since the age of 15 when TV just transitioned out of black and white <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people okay, might yeah, have yeah. might have slept on you, Pearl. Many people over the years might have slept on you, slept on your talents, slept on your achievements. Don't but do we it. at Popcorn and Cheese have never slept never. on you. Never. That sounded wrong. But <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna go somewhere else. Is this for me? Yes. Like, so, like that, what was his name? Yeah, so we, exactly. So you get it, yeah. So we from the south, the from three of the us. South. People yeah. of the south. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm gonna do a, a podcast and I'll do like Felicia, whatever Felicia did. Are you gonna move your mole around? Oh, Felicia. Oh, oh Felicia. <laughs> Felicia, my booze, I'm gonna pick a boozy question. Subtle, subtle. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Sorry. Yo, that's that's Your from us. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. We brought him to sing for you today on this episode. <gasps> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But before we go, before we go, we want to plug. Ah, thank you. I want. Oh. You know, it's supposed to be from Al, Al Uber. You come fetch it at my house when you come for the play date. Uh, so, so here, here's the. Here's, no, no, no. So here's the funny thing, right? <laughs> So here's the funny thing, and I'll send you a picture. I've got your bottles at my house Ooh. on display. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll send yeah. you a picture. So, so, so um, here's what I want to know about uh, Black Rose, right? Mm. I, I'm seeing a new something. The red. 
Oh, it's not new. That is the blood orange. Yes, I've, blood orange. I've changed the packaging. The branding. Okay. Yeah. No, you, no, 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 no. I've always had the flavors. I've just changed the packaging. That's what I'm saying. I haven't seen that. Uh, mm, so it's I don't cool, have, ne? Yeah. It's good. It was what my, about that to see more now? It was my first idea when I when I got there. <laughs> Before I even signed the contract, I was like, yeah, I think these bottles, you actually need to do one to then. We ended up doing it. And by then, he thought it was his idea. Um, and by the way, mm. they, there's a big surprise coming this year. Uh, myself yeah. and another human right. are planning to do a really powerful collaboration with our brands in mm -hmm. terms of, um, you know, beverages. And... Black Rose Gin is now about to be distributed like fully now in every store that you're about to find. Like I'm going to Durban actually down this weekend for some meetings um, with some big people there to get things done. Wow. So I'm really back on the horse. Like I really feel like I'm back on the horse and I'm excited about life and I'm pushing forward. Things went down after that day. Remember the drama? Things went down. It was being chill. But... Um, I wish I'm being chill. <laughs> Yes, but, yes. I'm but I'm really excited about this and, and what it's going to do. I really believe in Black Rose. Like, mm. I really believe in it. They, fine, there's the taste, there's the thing. But, like, I'm thinking of doing something called, maybe maybe I should even, maybe I should really do this. My my birthday's on World Cocktail Day. Weird, because I own a band. That's and dope. I didn't know that. Until You've got to I capitalize really, on that. That's I, I have to yeah, capitalize have to. on that, right? So, I, I don't know if maybe winter is the right time, but I'm thinking of doing, like, a Black Rose business brunch like type of thing where people come in and I call in like Timothy Maurice, call in like- Tony. Uh, Tony. What if Tony Robbins came to my business branch? You can speak it into existence. Didn't you say we must dream big? <sighs> yeah, Tony Zogala. Guys, please, can you, everyone Tony just, Yengen, gonna everyone run. tweet and email. Hi. Suddenly the black rose is missing. <laughs> <Everyone>. <laughs> <laughs> we are unaware where it is. <laughs> yeah, let's speak into one of these good, if not this year, maybe in the very near future, Tony Robbins will come and speak at the Black Rose Business Brand. Amen. We put it out there. Amen. It's out there. Ladies and gentlemen, oh man, what a perfect start to our new year, man. Like Pearl, We've been wanting you on the show. Thank you so much for honoring the invite. Thank you. Thank you so much for being such an incredible guest, man. Um, and thank you for imparting knowledge. That's mm. literally what, what we wanted so to do. I made the brief. Bro, like you, you yeah, went did. above and beyond. Like proper. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Above and beyond. <laughs> Aich. Mm. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, uh, we want to take this time just to shout out uh, all the young comics who uh, did their thing at the Savannah Showcase showcasing. Uh, the newcomers showcase yeah. was amazing. Yeah, we've got our talent pool in comedy is doing well. Yeah. like out yeah. of out of the twenty guys that performed, twenty were amazing. Yeah, so that was amazing. That was really dope to see young comics doing big things. Zizi, do you have anything to shamelessly yeah. plug before we go? Sure. What's this? Thank you to everybody that came out to Bioscope Sundays. It's Bioscope Sundays here yeah, again. It's going to be amazing. And uh, something really, 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 really big is coming this year. So I'm going to do the theater I said I wanted to do. Nice. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. 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 City will see you soon. Jesus. Robert the boy. Yeah. Besides the cancer flavor tron. Wait, guys. Yes. Is this like when I would do live amp and I'd be like, so if I may at sumo tonight, da, 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 like, is it that? Yeah, yeah just okay. yeah. But 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 <laughs> but but here, yeah. but here it's like live things, like plugging stuff. You see, like how you plugged your business seminar, the black rose. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. Green means go. Flavor chart, more fire. Go get it. Clean merch is in the building. Let's clean the country. Let's clean the world. And more music and more dancing. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, while we are shamelessly plugging each other, I just wanna, <laughs> I just wanna plug my brother Titi Chumeric and congratulate him for being a head writer on the new current show called Most Ridiculous. Yeah, it is I'm out. About yeah. <laughs> What so, so I'll be presenting a new show Jesus. called Most Ridiculous. It's on Comedy Central, playing from Monday, the yeah. 5th of uh, uh, Feb, Feb whoa, whoa. at and 9. And to you, my brother. We are going to do more, 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 more. We're doing big things. This yes. Year, you guys yes. Show. yes. Can yes. I yeah. be a guest? Okay, we're let's done. Go, let's go change. Uh, from the corn that pops. And the cheese that's great. We, we are Robo Pops. pops and, and just Jay. like Pearl out of that leather outfit soon, we, we are, are out. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Ukona, on as a puma, which him never's done. Never Tina, sister, seven is enough to cream. See one in when a year, you know, a year. Cut, cut, cut. What don't you want? I have a full show. Oh, I'm so alive. Die, man. Do you know how this is going to make me look so? Hey, my gosh, there's no tears in death. It is so good. Quasa on what you eat, two little four cousins. So this is fun for you guys, right? You have seen one of your fellow thespians die on set. Is this what we've come to? Cut! Is cut! I can't, I can't work like that. Really. Sorry, I can't. Yeah, Direct time. Really... Did someone order a glass yeah, yeah, yeah. of water? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go to my Here is your glass of water. Nothing else, as you can see. See through water. Drink up. Let's all take a sip. After ah, you. Yeah, Obviously, yeah, after yeah. you. After yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. We don't mind. Okay. That will be 32 rand. On me, no? If you manage 32 rand, it's fine. It's been nice knowing you, Mkolis. We've put up with you for way too long. Every dog has its day. And today's Wednesday. It's tricky being up with Lola's friend because there'd have to be like 18 pole bearers at the funeral. Uh, but Zilla's funeral is just like one. It's just one guy. Just. I think it's the flat, the box is going to be carried by a drone. Sky Boraka, Sama Wadula, and Tong, Kosu Cherik Flu, Rega Lozinja, Uber Sharpo, Irega Lixi, Pick and Pay. Everywhere, no sinja. Only Betsy Discam. Marho right, cause I love being here. Yo, I love this place. Oh, we, we love, love this place. place. Uh, I, ish, ish. We really love this place today, buddy. The syrup is nice and the lozenges too. We really love this place. Shake his. <laughs> you just did it! Kitty Semba, Hufedile, close by saying this is how you record a one take track. This is how you record a one take track. Robo Pops, I'll be some cheese girl and I'm a cheese boy there. We motivate, then we laugh as well. Stay on brand, never hard to sell. Got real chats, now my LOL. So we both got gang and we blessed as hell. See a dollar story. Pets and I'm a guest, I'm nice and moy. You and I'm a bundles, not of joy. Said it's some pop pops and robot boys. Popcorn and cheese. 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 